morning, Shawnee. Welcome to the Renegade Morning Show. Today is Friday, October 11th. It's a day three. I'm James. And I'm Nyla. Today we have such an exciting show planned for you. First up, we have a message from Mr. Catanella. Let's see what he has to say. I'm Mr. Catanella. I'm a school counselor here at Shawnee. When I was a college student at Ryder, Ryder used to host these open forums, uh, open lectures. Anyone could attend. They were free even to the public, and I would attend them on occasion. They have professors who give these mini lectures on campus, talks from economics to civil rights, wh whatever the topic might be. And then it's also kind of a blend of, of that and also with the very popular TED Talks that we're all pretty familiar with. So this will be our continuation of these talks from last year. This is our third talk and it will be on coping skills and I'll be giving the talk this time for my first time. So I'm really looking forward to it. This, this next wellness talk will be uh, Tuesday, October 15th, the second half of Lunch and Learn. Um, again, it's voluntary. It's gonna be in the auditorium this time. I do ask that if you attend, please be there by 11 o'clock because I would like to start by 11.06 or so. We had a mental health therapist who came in and did her first one, and she gave, uh, gave a lecture on visualization techniques in sports. And then our second one was in-house, Mr. Ryan Franks. He gave a uh, talk on growth mindset and how failure is not an end. It's, it's just an obstacle that we have to overcome. And I thought that was excellent. So what I really like about these is that it's completely voluntary. If you think you would get benefit from it or you're curious, you can go and check it out. And if you have no interest in it, you do not have to attend. And I, I think there's a lot of value in that in itself. I think assemblies are great. They can be very beneficial to the student body. However, sometimes in assemblies, you have students who don't want to be there. They'd rather be doing something else. But I just think it could be beneficial for anyone who's looking to gain more um, information or personal insight into wellness. Um, so if anyone's you know, looking to improve uh, their personal growth, uh, their own personal journey. They're looking for, uh, for this topic in particular, if they're looking to gain some coping skills or to learn information about coping skills in general, um, I just think it's a great thing to attend. It's 15 to 20 minutes of your life. And perhaps best case scenario, it's something that you could take with you for the rest of your life. Coming up next, we have a man on the street interview with all of our parents who are on back, here on Back to School Night. This seems like an interesting twist. Let's see whose parents are going to try and embarrass them. What, what would you like to say to your child this morning? We would like to wish Ethan Berliner in a fantastic year. We're so proud of him, and we can't wait for tennis season. Go Shawnee. You, hey, Nyla, it's Mommy. I'm here to embarrass you, girl. <laughs> Wishing you an awesome, awesome freshman year. All the best. We love you. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> Hi, Gabe. Pay attention in class. Love you. I want to send a message to Riley Sadowski. You better do good in school because it's your last year. And have a good year. You're doing good so far. We want to say hey, Eden, hey, Tommy, and go, Gates. We have love a great you. year. Have a great year. Love you. Hi, Tessa. I love you. Have a great year. Bye. Well, usually when we come to back to school night, our children aren't here to hear our message. And so I can say whatever I want. So I have no message. Good luck this year. I'm the child. My message is, Sakaya, you are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? You're everything I ever hoped for. You're everything I need. I love you, Sakaya. Hey, Lena and Eli. We are so proud of you. What she said. Have a great day. Hey, Kara. I hope you're having a great day. I'm so proud of you. Hi, Lil. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye. Robbie, I loved your teachers. You're going to have an awesome sophomore year. Keep kicking butt. It's great to see that our Shawnee students have such loving parents. I'm glad my parents didn't try to say anything crazy. Anyway, moving on. After that, we have some promotional material for one of our winter sports here at Shawnee. Hello, Shawnee. You may be wondering what I am doing wearing this. Well, as our fall sports are coming to a close, I'd like to take some time to address one of my favorite Shawnee winter sports. I'm a member of our Shawnee swim team here, and it's one of my favorite parts of the school year. We get to go to swim meets every week and have fun cheering on our teammates in competition. Without further ado, I'm going to go fill 
the Shawnee gym with water so that we can all swim. You should join the Shawnee swim team. I wasn't expecting that. I know, but it kind of makes me want to join the Shawnee swim team. Yes, because you should join the Shawnee swim team. To wrap things up here, this has been the Renegade Morning Show. I'm James. And I'm Nyla. Tune in every Monday through Thursday for the Shawnee Wake Up and every Friday for the Renegade Morning Show. Have a great, great day, day, Shawnee. Shawnee.